So we have um, an administrative issue. We can't call this show heavy handed. We t- we messaged about this a little bit. Yeah. Well, so who whose podcast is that? I have no idea, but they exist. They're all like on Spotify and stuff. And like, so for now, so. I just I just thought until we land on a name, this one we'll call this uh, the first one's heavy epi- handed episode one. So this one will be um, carnivorous fret skipper episode two. And yes. then just until. Until you know. we land on something that sticks, <laughs> you're going to have a lot of searching to do back and forth. Well, it'll all be on which, the same playlist. Speaking of playlists, so uh, one thing we were talking about earlier as well is if we want to do a, a compilation playlist of all the bands and songs that we, we talk about on these podcasts, if that would be something you guys are interested in, then maybe comment below. Yeah, I think we should definitely put it together. I think the only question in my mind is like playlist for every episode seems like kind of no a no i think it would be an ongoing playlist right yeah okay sure yeah that sounds good so yeah name we gotta figure out a name it's always the hardest part of naming a band man or any it's any creative project any. yeah mm. i agree it's so it's such a heavy thing that that ultimately ends up being kind of meaningless which is ironic yes it, unless you're aerosmith and it is like the most important thing because because what is aerosmith aerosmith is actually sort of a genius band name yeah i guess so i Aero, A-E-R-O, like the wind, like they mm-hmm. create wind, like that's all music is, is wiggly air. Oh, you think they thought that deeply about it? Yeah, 100,000%. Aero Smith, like I'm a Smith of... Air. Yeah, totally, why not? Man, you know how... Yeah, okay. I don't know, does those that guys, not track? Those guys I mean... Were, no, I think I think those guys were, were throwing darts at a board, and they got two words, and they said, that works. Fair enough. <laughs> I think, well, then I think that if that's the case, they really lucked out because yeah. it makes sense to me anyway. Beastie Boys. How do they come up with that one? I guess Be- it's pretty simple, right? We're, we're beast and we're, yeah, like we're boys. Yeah, like beast mode uh, type Yeah, thing. we're boys. Yeah. and Not a lot there, I think, yeah. just Animals as leaders. Uh, really just, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Um, it's, that's just, uh, that's, just fu- that's a fuck the government thing. Uh, I guess. And these guys are fucking animals. Mm. Or, or maybe maybe as vicious as animals are or as dumb as animals that's, are. It's really funny that a band that's instrumental would be that political. Just like, you guys have nothing to say, though? <laughs> well, I mean, I think that's why exactly why they can probably get away with it, because it's so intentionally vague. Mm. It is it's vague. Like a, I'll give it's like a man. tabula rasa situation. It's just like whatever you want it to mean, you know? Axiomatic dematerialization. <laughs> yeah, sure, okay. <laughs> just a fucking sci-fi word salad. All right, so today we're talking about guitar tones. Talking about who's got the... Tones of guitars and the sounds that they make. Yeah. Now, last time we were talking about Chinas, but... And we were going into, you know, the nuances of of where they can exist and mm-hmm. where they can and can't work. But boy, howdy, are guitars uh, a whole nother world of colors and, and how they can work. And, like, there's a sort of a deeper fundamental importance to them in metal. Right, like yeah. Chinas are nice, are, are like one of those things that's like on the more important end of nice touches, right? Yeah, because there are bands that don't use Chinas at all and they're still, they're still heavy, of course. But guitars, mm-hmm. it's like you know, if you're in metal and you're not the omnific, you need guitars basically. And actually, I tried to spread it around a little bit, I was just going off guitar tones that I really like, and so mm-hmm. like a lot of it is metal, but I think there's one or two that are definitely more hardcore or punk, and it's just like mm-hmm. just for the flavor, you know, the context of like. Because, like I said, it can it can be a lot of things, right? So yeah, no, of course, and like yeah, we both have kind of a spread. There's a, both of us picked some like classic metalcore stuff. Both of us picked. Yep. Uh, I have some more like deathcore stuff. I do have. Oh, you one have metal- more deathcore than me. Uh, yeah. I think I only had one, didn't I? Yeah, I have like three. Yeah, three. Wow. Um, I thought you would have had like gent one, gent two, gent three, gent four. You know, shockingly, I didn't pick any gent. Holy shit. Well, that's, I, I, I was, I was trying to offset your gentness by trying to find stuff not gent. So sure. I'll, if I think of anything, I'll let you know. I've sort of like fallen out of love with, with gent in general, I guess. Like here's a, a okay. Gent and guitar tones. One thing, like I was thinking about it. I was looking through like my playlists and stuff and I was like, what songs do I really like? What, what do I have like a, like a deeper appreciation for? And I was looking at some periphery, but then I was like, do I think that these guitar tones are like, maybe, maybe I should have thrown periphery on here so we could fill out the B section. I don't know. Because it's just like the tones themselves just seem so mid to me. Yeah. Um, I'd say periphery is like S tier songwriting, but like, hmm. And the drum mixes on those albums. Well, that's are what I'm saying good. is the guitar tones are good. The mixes yeah. are great. 
and then you know what I mean? Like that's where they're, it's like, it's a, it's a whole, it's not any yeah. individual thing really outshining anything. And I think what we should aim to do here for this tier list is say, last time with the tier list was just sort of a very general tier list. It was like, we could have selected 10 songs each and had no D tier stuff. Like that could have had, did that happen? I think that did happen actually. I don't think we gave anything a D tier. Or maybe no, just we one had thing. two. Yeah, we had two. I think it was uh, Bury Your Dead and uh, mm. <laughs> our boys in... Uh, After the Burial? No, no, no. They were like they were Z tier. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> well, here's, here's what I propose for this list is instead of trying to give these guitar tones a rating, or maybe we should do both of these things. Give them, like we did last time, a rating in general. But also, in terms of, like, where they go on the tier list, make it relative to the other items in the tier list. Yeah, so there will be a tier, but then right. you're saying as far as ranking is, like, 1 through 10 or whatever? Yeah, 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 sure. Well, so then we're going to have two tiers then. Because that's that, that makes sense, though, because then you don't have people sharing a top spot or a bottom spot. Right, right, right. There right. is a first and a last for sure. Yeah, yeah, big time. And, like, that's the thing is, like, I've noticed about this list is, like, all of these are, are generally pretty or very good. But some, I think, are better than others. And I just want to, you know what I mean? I just kind of want to recognize that. We'll have, well. A deb- we'll have a debate. A debate. So first up, uh, if we're doing alphabetical, I've got uh, My Fears Have Become Phobias by As Blood Runs Black. Oh, man. Hold on. Let me cue that up. I, that's a classic for sure. Uh oh. <laughs> Open this up. What's up, Denny's? What the fuck is up, Denny's? <laughs> Alright, so thoughts, initial impression. Um, I never thought it was the best. I liked it a lot mm-hmm. uh, when it came out. Um, mm-hmm. It was like perfect timing for that record. Yes. There was other bands doing better stuff at the time, too. I agree. I think that for the time, the production was very good. Uh-huh. Doesn't sound, it doesn't sound better than Beauty and the Breakdown, which for me is like, like I mentioned last time, as far as like looking back, like whenever somebody's like, yeah, but for the time, I'm always like, if it didn't beat Beauty and the Breakdown, it's, it, then that argument doesn't work. You know what I sure. mean? Like, and so I don't think it did that. I think it got fairly close to matching it. I don't know. Today, on a in in a general sense, I would I would put that at uh, like a C or a B. Yeah, I would put it very middle of the road. I mean, considering how old now? Two thousand six. Two thousand six, I think. Right? Yeah. Maybe yeah, man, seven. That, I I graduated high school when that was when <laughs> that came out. So that's it was great then. It's great now, but there's yeah. there was better stuff then and now. So I'd say middle of the road. Throw it in a. We'll throw no, it in B tier, B tier, and see if our feelings about it change as we go down the list here. Rod. Oh no, the rods. Rod. The rods closed. Such a weird word, rod. You have to forgive Steve, ladies and gentlemen. He he he's microdosing today. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> rod. No, you never Ro-ad. seen that. What is, it? What is what that a from? Weird word. Uh. <laughs> you ever seen the? <laughs> that's from like Black Sheep or one of those. Tommy, maybe? I think it's from Tommy. Oh, is it? Yeah. Road. They were they were stoned, I think, at that point. Oh, I could guarantee you that's true. Up next, uh, Whitewashed. August Burns Red. Oh, boy. <laughs> that's almost the same blood as Blood Runs Black Rip. <laughs> yeah. That that song, this song would have scored really high in our China symbol discussion, yeah. I think. Yeah. I'm just not uh, there, was anu- there was another one that I, did, I, I stumbled upon earlier that like really deserved to be on there, but we didn't get it. But The guitar doesn't have, it just sounds like a little thin, I think, to me. It's like thin, it's, but, but what I really like it, about it, and I don't know if it's, it sounds like 5150-ish, where it just has this mid-range that's very like tight, and mm-hmm. like it just sits in the middle, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like really 
really strong in the mid and like uh, for what very, they're doing, yeah. especially very especially, mid. I agree. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> And uh, it doesn't get drowned out by anything else in the mix. And that's part of, I think that's part of a good guitar tone where it's like, you never lose sight of the guitar and what it's doing and understanding it and like comprehending what's going on, you know, especially yeah. with these riffy bands, you know what I mean? Like, that's mm -hmm. the one thing that death metal and tech death and like uh, some of these like, grind. You totally lose sight it, of that. It's like, it's, I'm sure what they're playing makes sense on to paper. Them. Yeah. But, but when I hear it, in context everything else it's very uh confusing you know what i mean at times no, i so. agree i agree i think legibility comes first like yeah you need to be able to hear every note on every instrument otherwise you've done a bad job you know what i mean like just to put it super simply and these guys have always done they've always been very careful about that i think you know mm -hmm. yeah it's all very deliberate and so you're right i agree with that i think it's very legible it's very like yeah. you can tell what everything is doing you don't think this is this is higher than a b though i'm willing to put this at a b if we move his blood runs black to a c oh i think yeah that's a definitely a c i think yeah. his blood runs black to c uh i'll give you a c if you give me an a oh interesting okay cool uh sure yeah yeah, yeah. All right. With with the understanding that that, that that we're we're being a little more fluid about it this time, and things might mm. change as we go down the list. Mm. Yeah, um, people will get knocked off. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. This is we're doing this like battle royale style. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, I have uh, as I lay dying up next. Meaning and tragedy. Oh man. Okay. Yeah. Here's the, here's the thing about as I lay dying. I ne literally never got into them, dude. So at the same time as, and I think. This is what happened, okay? There were two camps at that time, because I remember, like, vividly. Well, three. There were the weird kids that were really into Unholy Confessions, and they really just were jamming that nonstop. You know right. what I mean? Right. Uh, and that's cool. But then the other two main camps, at least in the scene, it seemed like to me, was uh, this album, this tone. Shadows are security. Shadows are security. It was this, this album, everyone, as soon as it came out, everyone just said, okay, that's the sound I want to have now. And then the literally other camp, everyone, literally everyone or the yeah. other camp, uh, at the same time was kill switch. You know what I mean? It was like, it was either that's the sound you're going for or, mm -hmm. or shadows of security. You know what I mean? <laughs> Right, but like looking back on the on the distinction between those three bands, knowing what I know about metal as it exists now, I look back at the at those three bands, and if you made a Venn diagram of like the styles of those three bands, it would just be a fucking it would be a stack of flapjacks, dude. It's just like all the same. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I mean yes. Unholy Confessions was way was different than those two that I had mentioned, though. Yeah, but that you know main I mean? riff has been played by fucking everybody. The riff, yeah, the riff, the riff for sure. The riffage, the, riff, yeah. the riffage from all these bands, it was just about riffing, right? It's the same shit. It is the exact the same, same, same thing. But as far as the, the tone, I feel like there's a distinction between those bands. That's fair. And I think out of those three, I was a Kill Switch guy for sure. And I think yep. that... And I think, I think that's what happened. You, you didn't give yeah. a shit about this album because you already had Kill Switch, right? Well, right, yeah. It's like, and it just said, I think I think I remember Kill Switch Engage sounding better. I think Kill Switch mm -hmm. Engage has always had top tier production. Like, I think I think I think what happened was ninety four hours was on the album before this, mm -hmm. and that was their their first hit, and people started paying attention. But then this album came out, mm -hmm. and everyone said, "Whoa!" Like the production value went like tenfold and, and then everyone's like all right that's the sound and so it was i would say at that time never being committed to either one i think they were really like competing they were in competition with each other at that time sure all there's, right there's this guy on tiktok just real quick there's this guy on tiktok who has this i can't i wish i could remember his name but he has this little mini series i like that's like how many years in a row were we gonna let bands get away with doing the same exact riff as everybody else and it's like just like clips of all these different songs and it's like it's like fucking 90, 96 hours it's uh unholy confessions it's yeah. fucking uh, in dying days it's fucking yeah. like it's just like or, one after or, another and i went down the look at on this on this list i was trying to come up with stuff i went to this one and then i went mm -hmm. over to darkest hour and i went to go mm -hmm. to the first track off of uh uh undoing ruin and i said wow that's the same riff and i yeah. said you know what i mean like yep absolutely unearth you know what i mean it was all the same shit correct correct it's like the metal version of the four chord song yep if yeah. you remember that damp 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 banana damp 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 you got it i mean that's what this riff is essentially and that's yeah. what they are right so that's the dude if, if bands behaved like that today and like 
did such. Yeah, they v- do. Have you heard of Jen? <laughs> They literally took the riffage out and just said, I only need the O. Right. I mean, fair, I guess. Sure. It never stopped. It never went away. It just changed uh, the filter on it. That's all. And, and I get that that's how art works. And I get mm. that that's how music in particular works. It's, like, it's, the, it's, it's the, the vibe of the time. It's yeah. the vibe of the time. And like, there's a real fine line between inspiration and plagiarism. And I get that. Mm. Mm. But I mean, just looking back on this partic- on the example of like the classic metalcore riff, uh, mm-hmm. It is like the most flagrant example I can oh, think of. Oh, this this song in particular is this uh, just shining example. So here, let's play okay. from the beginning. Yep, that sure is a riff. Wow, that vocalist sounds angry. Yeah. Uh, it sounds so angry. I, I, I mean, there's so many other songs from bands from this time you could put in the same spot. Yeah. And that's why this is B, because it was middle of the road, just call it a day. This is what metal core is at the time you know what i mean yeah yeah but that's why uh, it deserves to be on the list you know it I, had that it had that defining tone that everyone just chased you know what i mean i w- i would never argue that it deserves to be on the list i absolutely agree with that b rating for that guitar tone in particular yeah may, yeah i guess give it another spin so. give it another spin yeah sure 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 Yeah, B is fair. B is fair. I'm, the, the only hesitation I have is calling this a B and calling his blood runs black a C, because I feel like they're. Frankly, okay. I think I feel like his blood runs black tone, tone sounds better. I, I think my biggest problem with their tone comes from the performance, and that's something to black. speak to. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. It's a little. It's not. Unedited. By today's yeah, it's it's yeah. very unedited. You can tell yeah. that they did not try to post. You know what I mean? They no. just said, cut it, print it, is good, send it, you know? Really good mix, did not really edit it. Yeah. Yep. And that plays into tone. All right, I'm sold. You, you, you sold me on that. Keep this on a B. What's this next one? I don't recognize this album. It's Ingested, Follow Ooh. the Deceiver. This is another band I never got into, honestly. I've never, I don't think This I've... is a, they're relatively, I mean, they're new in my world. I'm sure they've been around for a while, but um, I this think they're from the UK. I guess newer, I guess because I'm old, everything's new, but... um <laughs> sure. That sounds very good. Here it comes. A very good tempo change. Now I like this. What I don't like is the China. In contrast to our last discussion, <laughs> it has this, it's so, it's too present and it gives you this very mid frequency. Yeah, ah, I agree. But, China's not great, but the guitar tones like are, I, I'm tempted to say S tier. Those sound very good. Dude, it's like I, I was saying last time, I was like, if I could just have that tone, I'd be cool. I'd be cool. Yeah. I don't want any more. I can just uh-huh. write death metal forever, you know? 100 percent you could write anything with that tone honestly sure yeah like uh, what they're playing is deathcore obviously but like i think you could that would even translate to metalcore that would translate to gent probably like i think that's uh, yeah i i i would think it's either s tier or it's a tier and everything gets knocked down a peg well let's do this for now let's put it at a in case there's in the leave headroom right just like in the Mm -hmm. meters yeah sure okay and then i'm moving everything else down okay because it's clearly better than constellations oh yeah Cool. All right. Uh, moving up, we have uh, one of my favorite songs ever, which is Six Gallon Gasoline Stomach by King Conker. How did I call that one? You knew I it. Know. Of course you did. Because I remember King when Conker you showed me it. fucks, dude. No, it, it did. That song in particular, uh, it just, I remember you showing it to me and I was like, wow. <laughs> like, I mean, we were listening to a lot of the same stuff at the time and it was just <laughs> like, okay, I, I, I see you. Yeah, right. And this CD is one of the heaviest fucking CDs to date. Mm. They called it CDs back then, too? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's short for CDs nuts. <laughs> 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 All right, here we go. Motherfucker! Everyone has left! Where the 
Very good. Very good. Uh, I mean, it's 2012. Not as old as some of the other things on this list, but like, mm-hmm. there's band, there are deathcore bands that don't sound that good now. You know correct. what I mean? Absolutely and correct. It's, it's tricky because it is such a extreme sounding yeah. music. I think it's always been, no matter when you're making it, it's difficult to get right. This has kind of that poster child deathcore tone you know what i mean like oh, I, I can see a lot of bands who are probably heard this and and said okay that's the one i want you know what and i they mean they did the they did the napoleon dynamite tupperware lady like i want yeah. that yeah uh. right so uh what do you rate it as i would put that here's what i think is i think we move ingested up to s tier and we put this in a tier okay because i don't it. think it sounds as good as ingested but i think it sounds really good uh yeah i think that any other tone would have been the wrong tone. Yeah. I think it's great. I think that whole album's fucking great. Um, Good choice. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Next up, it looks like Kubla Khan. Ooh, yeah. I like that. Do you? Ooh, yeah. Um, <laughs> what the fuck is that? That's a Eyes Blood Runs Black reference you just did. I, <laughs> ooh, yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that uh, Ant Pile? Yes, Ant Pile. And what, uh, where was that on that? Just the beginning, right? Just the beginning, yeah. Just, yeah, Play From Zero. I love this tone. I think this is like, if, okay, so I know you were a big fan of Bear You're Dead, right? No, of course. Ba- this is, this is uh, the spiritual successor, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. But, I agree uh, with that. I haven't heard this song, but I agree oh, with dude, that in general. It's especially this one. very good uh i heard an editing error hold on let me find it oh uh-oh. On, let me find it yep there it is there it is there it is uh hold on one, one more time yeah okay so listen at um 10 seconds listen to the left side right before the drum hits come in you can tell somebody did a really sharp fade on probably a drum mic because you can just all the sudden hear a low static sound oh wait wait yeah let me listen at 10 seconds at 10 seconds yeah yeah i mean it happens a little later than that yeah. like with with the guitar on its own yeah 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 it's, yeah it's it, kind of like it's like <laughs> yeah 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 you hear yeah. it yeah, I do. It's like a hiss that's, that disappears. I love finding those. Here's the cool thing about the thing about Kublai Khan that I appreciate is that it's very like stripped down. It's like just fight riffs. There's mm-hmm. like no lead guitars in any other stuff that I've heard. Not really, no. And it's just it's just uh, brutality and saying shit. Yeah, and right. Fuck. As far as the tone goes, I when I heard this, I was like. I just want to go pick up some heavy weights. You know what I mean? That's yeah. all I want to do right now is just throw some sh- some shit around, and break mm. something, break your fucking face tonight. You know what mm, I mean? Hell yeah, dude! God, we should have talked about fucking Limp Bizkit's guitar tone. I thought I can't about. Believe, I, I thought can't about believe it. I didn't fucking. Uh. I thought about it, but yeah, come on! Especially their new stuff, dude. Out of style. Oh, dude, that song is so good. I'm telling you, you that need to cover that. That song fucks, dude. Why don't you cover that? Uh, because I don't have a whammy bar. Download. <laughs> Whammy bar VST. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I have a whammy pedal that I could use. Yeah, but the thing right. is, it doesn't have to be perfect. I guess. Yeah. Maybe I should. Maybe I should try. That'd be cool. Um, Just try it. That riff is so fucking sick. Bow, 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 wow, wow, bow. Oh, it's so sick. Oh, it's groovy, man. <laughs> Gets me in the fucking zone. If I'm ever like on a walk and I have to go up a hill, I, I throw mm. that song on legitimately. Yeah. Yeah. When and, I have uh, to go fire somebody, that's when I come on. <laughs> 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 
Anyway, um, this I tone. can see you just gearing up to rob somebody <laughs> of their life. <laughs> and you just pop your earbuds in. <laughs> DJ <laughs> Lethal! <laughs> Keep rolling, 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 rolling. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Okay, sorry. So this guitar tone, hey, it's good. This tone is great, I think. I, it serves I'm, its purpose. It's the it's the meat and potatoes of the sound in this album, for sure. Yeah, I agree. I think relative to the other stuff on the list, I'm tempted to... BC it? Yeah, kind of. I want to... I think it's better than Constellations, though. So my thought is wow, to put... Wow, okay. Is to put SLA Dying Down in D tier, Constellations in C tier, and then put Kublai Khan in B tier. Whoa, dang. All right, let me think about that. Yeah, okay. Because I don't think it's quite as good as the King Conquer Town. <laughs> the, the, the only objections I have is, is I, don't want, I don't want time to play too much of a, a role. You know what I mean? Because obviously newer shit is going to sound better, typically. You know what I mean? Like, sure. I mean, yeah, here's the thing. Here's the thing about the whole it was good for its time argument. How, many, how often do you find yourself using an abacus? Every day. Okay. Yeah, well, never, I got, well, I guess I'm wrong then, aren't I? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like... Rob you. There are things... Yeah, you know, it's fine. Take that. Take the wind out of my sails. When <laughs> I, I, there are things that... Like, there's a difference between respecting what somebody did for the development of something and saying it is still just as good today. You know what I mean? Like, there's a yeah. difference between those two things. We don't use abacai anymore. Abacai, right? I would think. Abacusies. And we don't use abacuses anymore. So by the same token, I should say, I would say, yeah, it's like, I'm not saying that, I'm not saying As I Had Dying or As Blood Runs Back is like, have shit guitar tones. I'm just saying compared to the other stuff on the list. And it's just, it's not their fault that they produced that stuff in like the early 2000s mm -hmm. or mid 2000s, you know, yeah. but, but they did. So that's my viewpoint on it is like, yeah, I guess I think it's just, for me, it's like the time, it's not like for the time, I guess that's just a hard question for me because like. I put myself, because I'm listening to this through, obviously, bias of having experienced it, maybe when a lot of it came out, you know what I mean? Yeah, but, sure. But just, like, I'm thinking about, and I think that's part of my bias is when I listen to it, I remember listening to it then and being like, that's it. They figured it out. That's the last guitar tone. Yeah, sure. And obviously, obviously, that's not the case, uh, and we all learn that as we grow up. But, you know, mm. it's not just for the time, but it's, like, at that time, you know what I mean? It's not just... Mm. I respect what they did at the time, but like this tone set a pace and a bar, you know what I mean? And that's okay. There's, sure. There's, there's a lot of importance in that. It should I think. get, it should get extra points for bag. being a leader and not a follower. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not yeah. dime bag. Yeah. Let's we'll get there. We'll get there. I have some shit to say about that. Next. I've got straight from the path kickback. Oh my goodness. There are two songs with a Brandon Murphy feature on this list. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jeez, what are these guys tuned to? Mmm, that's a mean tone, and 90% of that is bass. Yeah, there's a bass with a gnarly fuzz on it. Yeah, like, man, and like they only kick it in in that section. It's not in the rest of the song, at least not to that amount. You know what I mean? And then just the uh, just bullshit. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah. Bullshit. Yeah, jeez. I think there's also a really slow flange on it or something. It moves. There's a lot of movement in it. Yeah, like there's it's definitely like, some. It's like wavy. There's some sort of modulation going on there, I think, for sure, uh, which is cool. I appreciate that they did that for, like, rhythm guitars for a yeah. whole part. Yeah. Because that's a little bit of a risk, and I think that paid off for them. Um, that's another band that I never really got into, but they're, that, that was cool. I'll have to check these guys out. Um, I've been a they're, they're pretty, they're like a groovy, more hardcore band. A lot of it's not, not that, like, kind of just bouncy, but, like, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, when they... When they get to their parts, like, I don't know. They're very groovy. I love them, but. I th oh, yeah. No, they're, and I've seen a lot of their drummer's videos. And I, I, like, oh, his, yeah. I like his he's, content. Oh, he's he's hilarious, yeah. Yeah. Where he breaks down, like, 
if drums were triggered on an album for, yeah, versus yeah. a playthrough or whatever. Um, I remember he goes through in one video I watched, he was going through like the, it's sort of like the 10 commandments for Satanism. Cause apparently he's a Satanist and he was just like explaining how much sense it made. Just and like, he was just like, these are just realistic things. You guys, oh, I'm into that. That's cool. Where would you rate this? It's difficult. It's, it's, it's a unique sound. Mm -hmm. It's fucking heavy. I know that yes. much, and I love it. But is it? I'd say it's a, probably an A for me. I'm I'm down with that. I that jives yeah. with me. I think the tone itself, because I took a listen to a part leading up to that, and I think the tone itself is probably if if for me a B tier. But the fact that they made the choices they made in that last breakdown, yeah. like for the segment that we listened to, definitely earns it a lot of points in my book. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So here's another song with Brandon Murphy on it. Uh, six, the number not spelled out. Six uh, by Structures. Have you heard this stuff yet? The new structures? I only know, no, I only know the structures at the shield. That's the only one I know. Oh, divided by, like, I think it's called? Like the, yeah, it's just to get the backslash, mm -hmm. <laughs> structure, mm -hmm. backslash by stri stri structures. By, by struck slash churs. Yeah. Um, okay, so yeah, six. Six, the song six. This song influenced my writing in the last year so fucking much. Okay, yeah, I see what you mean. With like the pick scrapes and like... A guy I knew from high school that used to play in a band with, uh, with, uh, what's his name from By the Thousands? Ted John? No, no, the vocalist. Oh, Hondo. Hondo, yeah, he used to be in a band with Hondo. He, he turned me on to structures at one point. Nice. And, uh, yeah, he was super into them. This, this upcoming breakdown is the part that I selected. I think what's really groovy about them too is that the vocals are not stereotypical. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? For for that genre, you know what I mean? Like he's got more yeah. of a yelpy kind of like like hardcore vocal. And, 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 I'm pretty and sure the does, vocalist is also playing guitar at the same time. Yeah, that's wild. Uh, There's so much more of an edge, I think, than just a stereotypical like. <laughs> you know what I mean? It could have just been yeah. that kind of default thing, but. No, it's more, yeah, no, I agree with that 100%. It's way more unique than that vocally. Guitar tone-wise, for me, I think this is a very solid A. I could hear, I, I, or maybe yeah, a B. Yeah, very good. But I'm a little confused, because Structures, I mean, there's a lot of the chuggy chug. They weren't yeah. always that way. Not always. A, a yeah. little, well, kind of. I mean, they did a lot of chuggy chug, but, like, there was a little more riffage, I feel like I remember. Sure, sure. But, like, the way that breakdown at the end of the song is structured is so... <laughs> is structured. Structured. Is, uh, yeah, yeah. It's so, like... It, it's, it is a breakdown, but it's also, like, the guitars are doing a whole bunch of different shit. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's it's borrowing from this this new school idea of filling in the voids a lot. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? With With... There's a lot more of harmonic creative. rakes and a yeah, lot of more, like gnarly more creative. chords. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that, yeah. What is this band I was thinking about before this that I thought about putting in here, but they do that to a point where I don't care anymore. Uh, <laughs> brand of Sacrifice. I like them. Oh, em. yeah. yeah. I yeah, like them. Yeah. I like it. I, I swear to God, I like it. But it gets to a point where like, is this metal or is this dubstep? You know what I mean? Like it gets yeah. to be a little little no, over sure. the top. But. Um, the, the choir part in Eclipse though. I mean, that's well, fucking... Uh, I was literally, yeah, Eclipse was the one I was thinking of. Like that, yeah. whoever they have doing their... Like I would like to know which one of them is, yeah, doing the, the composition for the mm -hmm. aux instruments. I would um, be willing to bet it's their guitar player because that band is just the after image. Uh, just with a, uh, by a different name. Yeah, I like, but once you get to like a minute in and it's just boom, boom, wee, 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 you know what I mean? It's <laughs> right, like, yeah. It's, it's like, bit, okay, it's just schizophrenic. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, a little bit of a riff salad I mean, situation. It's cool. Yeah, it's cool, but like, I can't do it for more than a track or two, man. All right, so where, where, where are you thinking for structures for this guitar tone? I, I, I'm saying B plus, A minus, so I'll give it to you. I'll give you an A. I'll say, uh, I, I want to throw it an A because, or B. Okay. Cause, okay. Okay. Because I'm looking at the last two things in our list here. Um, There's two left? Yeah. Two okay, left that, so, we, that we had, and then we should, oh, I think we should okay. talk about, then we should talk about Limp Bizkit, and then we should talk about Pantera. 
And then there's one other one that I have that I, we need to discuss too. Next up. Two left. Two left, and then we got our bonus categories. Bonus round. This is what I know about Sacrifice by the Ghost Inside. Ooh. My contribution potentially was going to be off their, their more recent one, because I was listening through some of this stuff, and I wasn't convinced it would stack up, but I'm interested because I, I, I love this song. So yeah, let's play yes. it what, um, from the beginning. Just right from the start, yeah. A little can tinny, a little bit, but... This is what I know about sacrifice Meet me at the crossroads, let's go Should we just talk about that band in particular where like... There's so many divisions and depends on who you ask on where, what, what a band is or isn't, you know, this is a metalcore band. Yes. And there's in, a, in, by the, like, by the textbook definition. Yes. Yes. They uh, are metal metalcore. and they are hardcore at yes. the same time. Yeah. There, there was, this was a lot of folks introduction, I think, to the core side of metalcore. Right. Where it was right. a little more edgy and, and I don't want to say cookie cutter, but it wasn't as. It wasn't as metal, you know what I mean? But yeah. it was heavy. It was heavy mm-hmm. and it was hard and it had uh, had balls. You know what I mean? But as far as like this tone for this album at this time, yeah, I think uh, I think this is a tier from here. Okay, uh, so I it just it, the guitars are so like three dimensional on this album. Like, I, let me listen one more time because I, I yeah I know what you mean. They fucking breathe at you, like you know what I mean. Like it's unreal how good these guitars sound to me. I've always thought that about this album. Like it's just so fucking good. And so I wonder now now that I've got a taste for that, let's go listen to um, uh, the end of Pressure Point. I think it's like at three minutes, right at three minutes. So this is their more recent stuff. <laughs> So I think that's tough. It's weird because that doesn't. I couldn't. It's not that much different. It's totally. not. That, it's, it's pretty pretty close. Pretty close but, to the same. Which is which better bass volumes. tone on the new stuff. Yes, but it, there's less of the dimensional space that you're talking about. It's flatter. It's more compressed. I think 2012 versus 2020 is that close? I would allow Ooh. an S. I would allow an S. I see what you mean. Yeah. For sure. And then the last one on the on the main line list here is Withdrawal Symptoms by Weeping Wound. Have you heard this song? No, I don't think I have. You are in for a treat. I would just play this from the beginning too. These guys are like the masters of writing transitions in their music. Most of this song is transitions, but it just works so well. I don't wanna die, but the bottle is my home. I don't wanna be touched. Is it my fault? Is it my fault? Yeah, okay, I see what you mean. It's sort of, it's a constantly evolving, like, it, there's no, like, there's no, like, real it's like pattern. It's progressive you know I mean? deathcore. Yeah, it's, so I want to talk about this genre. A few years back, I remember coming across, I think it was a band was called Prison, and they, they were one of the first bands that I really heard doing this stuff. Listen to this, there's one that I would like you to listen to. It's as, it's just this like new metal beat down deathy. I don't know. Set it off. I wish that the mix had more low end. Er. It's that kind of cry scream. You know what I yeah. mean? The yeah. sad. Cry scream thing. I could do without the vocals of a lot of these bands. Like it's heavy and it's cool and it's groovy, but like it's distracting almost the some of the stylistic choices in the vocals. Mm-hmm. Because and maybe it's just a bad taste in my mouth from like I said, I think like that song the the one you showed as an example, my immediate 
response was Marilyn Manson. And it's like, right. you know, I, I've never been a fan. You know, the whole fucking, but, I don't want to die. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I do think it's really, I, 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 I'm, I could take that or leave it like that little part there, that vocal part. But when the whole thing comes in, yeah. Yeah. And it's mm -hmm. like, it's heavy. Na -na -na -na. no, it's heavy. that I think is tight. <laughs> Like, yeah, just, yeah. Like a snippet of it is good. Like yeah. inject it. But like when you do a whole verse and you're sad and it's <laughs> weird and I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's I'm fair. not. I'm not wearing jinkos. I'm not at a hot here, topic. They're out here trying to add some like you know uniqueness and. Like, but it's not. It's a, it's 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 2001 in corn. You know what I mean? Well, it, yes, but I think relative to other like the the, the band's contemporaries, like in their genre, I think it's a little more unique because it's not just the fucking thy art is murder. Just uh, well, go to rolls the whole time. The first, I think, yeah, the last ten seconds of life when he talked about cutting. Like the ceiling and let it spit its guts. When yeah. I heard that, I was like, that gave me goosebumps when I first mm -hmm. heard it. I was like, okay, what the fuck? You're this guy's weird. But uh, and it worked for that moment. But the more the more I hear it, the less I'm into it. You know what I mean? That's fair. I would give that guitar tone though. That's a that's a B or an A for me. B and I, I, could, I, I, I jive with that. I was gonna. Uh, <sighs> it's you want to it's right in the middle of B and A for me as well. And I can't decide. I feel like maybe A. If you really like them, man. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do A. We'll do A. And so we got we got a bonus lightning round, right? We got bonus round, yeah. Out of Style by Limp Biscuit, Not to be confused with Out of Style by Taylor Swift. Uh, so here's the thing. Before I play this, um, no matter what you think about Limp Biscuit, I get... No matter yes, what you think. Yes, all, they're terrible. The name of the album is still sucks. They are, are aware of their situation. Knows. Everybody, we all know, they know, I know that it's corny. I get that. Yes, they can't however, help it. However, Leave them alone. you cannot deny how fucking hard this riff fucks. Yeah, D yeah, the DSP community has not even mm -hmm. started to understand what true gent is yet. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, no, this shit is like fucking the gent of tomorrow. This shit is yeah. so good, dude. All right, it's it. not that, it's not that, it's not the Olympus, it sucks. It's that y'all ain't ready. Yeah, they're just before their time. Ah! Fresh, boy. Fresh. That riff fucks hard. celebrate. They always try to check me because I'm always out of style. Fucking, <laughs> that song is a lot yeah. of fun to listen to. That guitar tone, uh, B or a C. Yeah, I give it a I give it a C. Yeah, it's not good. It's not that good. The riff it's itself is fucking awesome. It's not bad. Yeah, the yeah, the riff is great. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, shall we? And that's Pantera. Confederate flag waving. Don't look at me wrong, boy, or I'll fight you. Type thing. You know, <sighs> I know the I know the the whole don't look at me wrong or I'll fight you. Uh, People uh, get that that's the exact opposite of being tough, right? Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. if all it takes to trigger you into violence is somebody mm -hmm. to look at you, mm -hmm. you're a pussy. Very insecure. It's Very so insecure. insecure. It's so goddamn insecure. And here's the other thing, too. Okay, so let's talk before we get into this, because I can already tell you, okay, fucking spoiler alert, trash tier tone. Uh, we all know it. We all know what's what this right is going to fucking be. Like, it's, I, I don't know, maybe you can make an argument for them. Uh, what argument I would make is that if we're going to talk about pinch harmonics, we got to talk about... <laughs> What is that? What song is that? Here, we're going to look it up right now. Cemetery Gates. Oh, okay. Sure, I guess. Like, we're going to listen to it, and then we're going to make a we're going to make a decision. We're going to skip the acoustic bit because let's see where are we? Solos, yeah. Okay, here we go. At about two minutes. Okay, yeah, the, the harmonics are all right. Um, Dimebag was a great player. Great player. Can we talk about, I don't know what video you're looking at. Um, the video on my screen, here, I'll put it to the main, it says, 
Pantera, 1990 to 2000, a decade of domination. The phrase a decade of domination is giving me strong homoeroticism vibes. <laughs> yeah, like a very Roman style of domination. <laughs> it's like Mac from Always Sunny trying to explain that his father having gay prison sex wasn't actually gay. It was it wasn't domination. Gay. No, yeah, yeah, no, no, really every Pantera fan is actually, <laughs> it's actually him. The pinch harmonics are all right. Let's listen to it again. Wait, let's yep, play past that. That's the worst that. goddamn guitar tone I have Wait, ever heard I in my life. That, I want to hear the riff right, actually. That... I love that riff. It's cool. That riff is, is, is flavorful. I love that riff. Uh, the riff is like stock music, dude. No, it makes me want to play like Twisted Metal. Yeah, I want to play like Twisted Metal or something while listening to that in my cousin's basement. It's the worst fucking guitar tone I've ever heard in my life. I hate it so much. I think I think a lot of people agree, and I think a, I mean they're not Slayer bad, but Ooh, they're pretty close. Point. That's yeah, you know what I mean. Because at least yeah. at least Dime could play, <laughs> and so yeah, sure, um, yeah, sure. Uh, so here's the thing. Here's here's my experience with Pantera lately, and it's fandom. I posted because uh, I've never been a fan of the guitar tone. I think Dimebag Daryl is mid. Don't say it. He's mid. His riffs are mid. Like, how dare you? Your dare, soul is mine. I, I dare to very easily. It's, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Listen, like, people will literally be like, We need to have a soundboard. This we need yeah. one of those Go XLRs. <laughs> Your brother's soul is mine. <laughs> Okay, Shao Kahn. So people will literally be like, Pantera laid the groundwork for groove metal. Without Pantera, you don't have gent. And then they'll play fucking walk. Like, yeah. no, like you're telling yeah, me that any given that. eight year what old is... with an electric guitar couldn't come up with that riff? I think you're wrong. I'm, like, I'm wondering where that connection, that's a lot of steps to get the gent from that song. Um, people will be like, this is seminal groove metal, and then point to two hours of fucking D minor pentatonic riffs and be like, see, it changed everything. And I'm like, no, it, no, the fuck it didn't. No, the fuck it did not, dude. I, dude, I think Meshuga almost, almost predates Pantera. Mm -hmm. And if you and I guess and nobody wants to talk about when Pantera was the fucking 80s pop band either, by the way. Oh, um, yeah. The guy liner era. Yeah. Oh, my God. Fucking Jesus. The hypocrisy with this group of people. Oh, uh, sure. So Meshuggah almost almost predates Pantera. And so to suggest that Meshuggah wouldn't exist without Pantera is some of the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. Um, yeah, that's that's an argument. I feel like I've never really heard because like that's. That's I've been exposed a rare... to a lot of a, a lot of dumb shit since I started poking the Pantera crowd lately. I guess because yeah, um, I think I think most common sense folks wouldn't listen to both of those and and make a connection and be like, but... this is yeah, right. They're totally different. They're totally different things, and they came up in totally different areas pre-internet. Like, well, actually, um, whatever. You know, I think I think Pantera has its place. Truck stops. And I love Ola England. I'm just I'm gonna say that here. What does he have to do with Pantera? He's like, dime. he's been to his grave. He's like, he's, you know, like, he's a big, he's got like <sighs> okay. one of every one of Dimebag's guitars. You know what I mean? Like, he's a big fan of them. And I, cool. I, yeah, like he's, he's into, he's into it. And everyone has their, sure, their things that they're really, really into. And that's cool. I you think, know what Dimebag was really, really into? Yeah, he's into some weird stuff. So I did this thing with Pantera fans lately, recently, because I, I kind of ratcheted up the, the insanity on my posts, because there's two posts I want to talk about. The first of which was me saying, yeah, Pantera is all right. I think they're all right. It, by the way, sidebar, took every fiber in my being not to make the caption read alt-right. Um, uh. Pantera is all right, but I think they would sound better if their guitar is tuned lower. You could have done, you, you could have done parentheses T. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. I could have. I could. Well, some people were doing it in the comments for me, so it was fine. Ah, uh, good. I, so all I said was, Pantera is all, all right, but I think their riffs would sound better if they were tuned lower and they had a guitar tone that didn't sound like frying bacon over an open pit of cheap fireworks. It's very that. It was very that. It's very fizzy, just very like crazy solid amp. state -y, yeah, like, yeah. Like just. <laughs> so, 
I did not. That's as bad as the post was. That's all yeah. I said. Is they're all right, and people were fucking f- losing their goddamn minds. People were saying shit like, "Kind of weird that you're denigrating a legend posthumously." Like that's a little. Uh, that's an interesting stance you've got. Or like people being like, "Nah, like Dimebag's the king. Nobody's tone will ever match Dimebag's tone." Wow. And like, Fucking okay. Jesus Christ. If they're saying that Dimebag has the best guitar tone in history, which a lot of these people were, I could almost mathematically prove that wrong. This is a rare mm. case where you can almost literally mathematically prove that wrong, which and would not be hard to do, and I just haven't taken the time to do it yet. But what you would have to do well, is take take the audio of just Pantera guitars, yeah, which you can find yes, online. Yeah, stems. Run it through, all you need is stems, yeah. Yeah, run it through, which I've found them, and I'm, I'm getting to that too, because I did find some, and I used some for something. But um, you would run that into a graphic equalizer, and you would say, okay, cool. So here's the EQ. You see this huge crater in the middle? There's no mids. There's no mids because they used up all the mids when they wrote the music. But um, tss, there's no mids, right? And you and you outline like, okay, here are the fundamental frequencies of a guitar playing on in first position or open position in drop D. Which he wasn't even playing in drop D. He played 40 cents flat, which is some of the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. It's not even 432, man. It's like, well, what if we just tune 40 cents flat just for the fuck of it, I guess. Okay, dude. Very, yeah, yeah. Very, I, I guess, yeah, I'm sure his text hated him. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you're right. So I made that post and people flipped, just fucking blew their stack at me. And so I made another post. The other post I had to do a lot of research for. So what I did was I found guitar stems for um, Mouths of War, Mouth of War by Pantera. It's online, high quality guitar stem, like only guitars. Uh, It's in a stereo channel on YouTube. So I ripped that and I put it into my DAW and I programmed the drums and bass for that song around it. And I used the normal drum mixing and the normal bass mixing that I use. And I left the guitars totally alone. I didn't do a thing to the guitars except for level match them. And then I made another post that was like, you know, last time y'all saw me, all I said was Pantera is all right. I didn't say that I had a better guitar tone than Pantera, than Dimebag Daryl. But I am saying that now. That's what I'm saying right now. I have a better guitar tone than Dimebag Daryl. And, pl- <laughs> and then I played the audio where the only thing is is di- that where the the guitar is Dimebag Daryl's audio and the comments section is so fucking funny on this post. Dude. Let me pull it up right now. Your tone is so bad. Respectfully disagree. Yours sounds awesome though. Tone might not have been good, but he's iconic. Uh, sure, I guess. But at the same time, much like your tone, his his was a product of its time. I disagree. Yours sounds badass too. Don't get me wrong, but his tone was also way before the technology we have now. My point is, is like nobody actually listens to the tone. When they're when they're so emotionally, they're emotionally defending attached. it, yep. yeah, and they're just like yep. they're just saying no, you're wrong no, it's not, without it's actually not even, listening. It's not even emotional. It's simply I can't be wrong. They're not even listening because that would that would open up the possibility of them being wrong. So just deny it. Yeah, I guess. Anyway, Pantera trash tier. That's my vote. What do you think? The guitar trash tone tier. is not good. Yeah, I can't I can't justify being on the list any higher than uh, maybe a. A P. A P. Gotcha. 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 That's yeah. still pretty far down. So <laughs> it's a PP tone. We're just gonna it's a PP tone. It's a PP poo poo gaga goo goo <laughs> fucking PP <baby laughs> shit tone. Or or it's a poo poo or it's a PP. <laughs> uh, a vulgar display of poo poo. Anyway, if you disagree with what I said about Pantera, um I'd love to hear from you in the comments. I'm I'm probably not gonna respond though. I'll take the engagement though, for sure. Yeah, um, yeah, let's talk. Let's talk. Or you um, can. Yeah, yeah, I can talk. Yeah. I'm good. I don't feel the need to justify my opinions to these people, frankly. My pick for um, the trash can, C, A, and before I finish this, this is where I'm going to ruffle some feathers. Okay. C, A, F, O. <laughs> Listen to the guitars on this song, dude. I'm already sold, actually. I know exactly what you're talking about. There were There were other bands... At the time. Isn't this a, a Misha production too? I'm pretty sure it is, dude. Yeah. Yeah, guitars sound bad, for sure. Um, I wouldn't put it as far... I think the only good-sounding thing in the mix is the snare drum, honestly. (laughs) 
uh, yeah, this is gonna ruffle some fucking feathers for sure, dude. Well, the tone is trash. Like, it is, man. Like, I don't know. Like, and this is the other thing too. By the way, uh, read the fucking description, people. God damn. You know what I mean? Like so many people on Gen Shit Posting when we uploaded that picture were like, how is After the Burial trash here? They're such a good band. And I'm like, can you uh -huh. fucking read two sentences, no, my guy? No, no, because like, they're internet folk. They just, they see the picture and they react to it. It's a meme. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I'm not, well, here's, let me just, okay. So for everybody freaking out in Gen Shit Posting right now, Animals as Leaders is a bunch of fantastic musicians. Yes. Yeah, they Tosin, can play. Tosin up Bossy. Well, is, I will never be able to play as well as Tosin. Correct. Yes, I will never be as famous as Tosin. Also correct. I agree with what you're saying, because I know you're going to fucking say it. But if you're listening to that and you're thinking, that's a professional sounding guitar release, then mm -hmm. then don't ever run a label. Do me the favor, because yeah. like that is false. Here's, here's my thoughts on it. Because like, I remember we had this conversation before about ATV and all this stuff, and the self-produced and the Bale Mize and all these guys, mm -hmm. and it sounded pretty bad. But this was not self-produced. It was produced by Bulb, who wasn't doing much better at the time. Well, but still, like, I mean, like, these guys... To their credit, are too busy learning their fucking parts to. Yeah. Okay, you want me to learn engineering on top of this? No, I don't got time for that. I'm, I'm, can you see my left hand is busy trying to do something here? You just push the play or the record button, and then you make sure you get this. You know what I mean? Like correct. I mean, like that's that what song it, that, blew my mind when I heard it first. Yeah, like, yeah. Or you know which one I like better? I just use this because that's the one I think most people are more familiar with, but I think the one that really fucked me up was the Wave of Babies. And I think that one might have a better tone. It does have way better clean. So if we go to Wave of Babies and they're doing a lot of down ow, but down ow, you know what I mean? I mean, still not, not above a B, but still better. Right. I could I could I could co-sign a B on the wave on a wave of babies. Yes here. Here's what we're gonna do We're gonna say trash tier is KFO wave of babies is B tier. Yep. I'm cool with that. All right. Well, that's uh Yeah, we'll, we'll oh, yeah, let's we'll throw a playlist together. We'll get all this stuff on a playlist for everybody Yeah, um, I think we should maybe. exclude the trash tier stuff though. Well, maybe we have a separate <laughs> trash list. <laughs> oh That's pretty good. Actually. Yeah <laughs> Yeah and then next next week, what uh, what we'll do is we'll have a section maybe at the beginning where we we scroll through gent shit posting, just to read the nonsense, and maybe comment and uh, and uh, uh, react to some of the amazing amazing posts and comments yeah, sure. that happen sure. in that. Uh, what do you want to do? What do you want to discuss next week? You want to talk about snares? Well, you know we could do that. I feel like we could do that. I feel like we need to just talk about all time mixes at some point though. Just general like mixing. Just the mix itself. Where's mm -hmm. the stack? You know what I mean? Because that's like everything encompassing. I feel like that's like if we're gonna go through if if this were a television show that had seasons, the mix mm -hmm. episode would be the finale. Okay. Well then what we'll do is yeah, we'll go through the different elements. Mm -hmm. Um so we'll do snare. Mm -hmm. Then uh do we wanna do uh bass? Yeah, for sure. And then and then auxiliary. Yeah, like bell, bells and whistles type stuff. Yeah, uh, pro, like uh, extra production value, all that shit. Yeah, 100%. That sounds good. Thank you guys leave for your comments. Us. Yeah, thank you for listening. And then also leave your comments down below. I, we know it's going to be like very supportive and that yeah, you're going to agree with everything we say. Yeah, you and guys that think you're, we're really cool. And, and you're going to listen all the way to the end. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you have listened all the way to the end, uh, hats off to you. You actually, uh, you're a good dude. Uh, if you have, or lady, if you've, if or you've listened other. all the way to the end, uh, here's I've got this is a kiss for you. There you go. Mm. That's something something mm. the other people didn't get. Mm. Mm. And also, um, fuck you. <laughs>